Hi, welcome to this example on hypothesis testing for the proportion P from a binomial distribution. Now in this particular example what I want to do is look at two-tailed tests and trying to find a region where we reject the null hypothesis. And to do that I've got an example here that hopefully will help. We've got a person suggests that the proportion P of red cars on a road is 0.3. And in a random sample of 15 cars, it is desired to test the null hypothesis that P is 0.3 against the alternative hypothesis P is not equal to 0.3. At a nominal significance level of 10%. And what we've got to do is determine the appropriate rejection region and the corresponding actual significance level. And what we've got here is a binomial model, a binomial distribution. And if we assume that probability of success, that is getting a red car, always remains constant and is independent, then we can define a random variable x for this binomial distribution. So what would that random variable be? Well, we could say let x be the random variable, number of red cars in a sample of 15, where x is distributed binomially. We've got 15 trials, and the probability of getting a red car, we'll say, is p. Now, under the null hypothesis, what we would have is that HO would be that that proportion that we're testing is 0.3. So we write P equals 0.3. Now the alternative hypothesis in this particular example is that it is not 0.3. And in the usual way, the alternative hypothesis H1 is that P does not equal 0.3. Now, before we carry on, what I want to do is just draw you a number line which illustrates how many red cars we could get from 0 to 15. So, basically, what's happening? What are we doing in this test? Well, ideally, we would have a proportion of 0 0.3. 0 0.3 of 15 cars are red. 0.3 of 15 is 4.5. We would expect 4.5 red cars, theoretically. Well, we know that can't be true because you just can't get 4.5 red cars. So we can expect somewhere around the kind of 4 area, okay, to uh, happen. All right. So if we saw maybe 3 red cars, 5 red cars, we're going to most probably think that's quite normal. We're looking to reject HO in these two tail ends, the lower tail and the upper tail, when the chances of getting more than a certain number of cars or less than a certain number of red cars becomes very unlikely. And what we're doing is in this particular test, what we call a two-tail test. We've got a lower tail and an upper tail. And we've got to find two values that we're going to call critical values that when we're less than a particular value down here, I'm not suggesting it's two, by the way, but when you're less than a particular value down here, the probability of being less than it is half of the 10%, 5%. And in this end, the probability of being greater than a particular number is going to be 5% or less. Right? And these particular values at the ends here are called the critical values. And we've got to find them. So let's start that, OK, and see how we get on. What we're going to do is assume that HO is true. So write that down, HO is true. And on that basis, that means that X is distributed binomially, 15, and probability of getting a red car, 0.3. So we want to decide when we're going to reject HO. 
Now if we consider the lower tail, all right, I'm going to select some particular value. Well, I say select, but I've got to find a particular value called the lower critical value where the probability of being less than it is less than or equal to 0 0.05. And that's when I'd reject HO. So I'll just write that in. Reject HO if the probability that x is less than or equal to this lower critical value. I'm going to use a little x with the subscript L. And that probability has got to be less than or equal to 0.05. Remember, I'm halving this nominal significance level of 10% because we're doing a two-tailed test because we've got a not equal here. So that takes care of the lower tail. Now for the upper tail, remember there's going to be some value somewhere up here which when I get greater than it, the probability of getting greater than that becomes less than or equal to 5%. So I'll write that in that we will reject HO as well if the probability that X is greater than or equal to the upper critical value. I'm going to call it X with a little subscript U and that probability is also less than or equal to 0 0.05. Alright, so we need to work out the lower critical value. So we'll do that for the lower critical value, X with a little L there. We can do this very easily from cumulative binomial probability tables which you'll find generally in any textbook or if you've got a set of statistical tables that will uh, you'll have the values in there but here we go, I've got an extract and what we've got here is that when n is 15 the probability p is 0 0.30 or 0 0.3 we've got the values of x down here and taking any of these values like if x is 5 this would be the probability of getting less than or equal to 5. Okay, so from tables then, if we're looking for the probability that x is less than or equal to a particular value being less than or equal to 0 0.05, then I come down here, when x is 0, this is less than or equal to 0 0.05. So too is 1. But when we look at 2, we see that there's just over a 12% chance of being less than or equal to 2. So if we come back to the 1, just over a 3% chance here. So this is the one that we need. Okay, This is now our lower critical value. So we can say that the lower critical value, XL, is equal to 1. So in fact, if I update this kind of number line, let's just rub part of that out. It's when you get to here, okay, the 1, all right, that we would reject HO. Okay, so if you had 1 or no red cars that were seen in 15 cars, we would reject HO. The proportion would not be 0 0.3. Okay, so let's just leave that there, okay, like so. Now we're going to find the upper critical limit see where it is on here. So we'll go down here and we'll say for the upper critical value, so x subscript u. How are we going to do this? Well, we turn to this clause here and we reject HO if the probability of x is greater than the upper limit is less than or equal to 0 0.05. Now because we're dealing with tables, cumulative tables, we want to be less than or equal to a particular value. So we get round this problem by saying that this is the same as 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to this value minus 1. And just in case you're wondering why I wrote minus 1, just check it out with a number. I mean, suppose I was looking for the probability of being greater than or equal to 11. That's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's the same as doing 1 minus, 1 because it's all the probabilities, 1 minus less than or equal to 10. 1 less than the number you've got here. So that's why I wrote minus 1. 
okay? And this has got to be less than or equal to 0 0.05. All I need to do now is just rearrange this. So if I was to subtract 0 0.05 and add this probability to both sides, what we would therefore have is 1 minus 0 0.05 5, which is 0.95 is going to be less than or equal to the probability then that x is less than or equal to the upper critical value minus 1. If I swap this around we've now got the probability of x being less than or equal to that upper critical value minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0.95. Now we can find this value in here from the tables by looking across here and you'll see that we want to exceed 0.95 so when we're at 6 that doesn't exceed 0.95 ah, but when we're at 7 it is actually equal to 0.95 that's quite lucky actually so we'll just circle that there all right so it looks like then that from the tables let's just write that down here from the tables we get that x u minus 1 is equal to 7 and if we add 1 to both sides we can see that therefore the upper critical value is going to be 8 so that means that if I adjust this diagram up here okay if we take 8 there all right. Then if I now get eight or more cars seen as being red, then this is not in this kind of acceptable region where you would expect HO to exist. It becomes unacceptable in this region when you get eight or more cars and also down here when you have one or zero cars okay, that are red. So we need to just sum up this because it says determine the appropriate rejection region. So we'll just write that in then. So what I'll do is I'll just scroll up to there for the moment. And we can say that therefore rejection region is going to be when x is less than or equal to 1 or when x is greater than or equal to 8. Now the question also says, and the corresponding actual significance level. Now if we're working out the actual significance level, then it isn't the 10% as you might think. What it is, is that we need to work out the probability of being less than or equal to the one it's basically uh, this particular area here if you like plus the probability of being greater than or equal to this now we said that originally we were looking at values that were less than or equal to five percent the probability of being less than or equal to five percent in each of these ends now this one you can see actually was five percent so that was five percent up there but what about this one well, that one isn't 5%. It turns out to be 0 0.0353, 3.53%. Okay, so when we're going to answer the significance level part of this, the actual significance level, let's just put that down, actual significance level is going to equal essentially the probability of being less than or equal to 1, let's just write that in here, probably x is less than or equal to 1, plus the probability that x is greater than or equal to 8. Well, we'll just move that up a little bit more, okay? We're nearly there. x is less than or equal to 1. We've seen that that is 0 0.0353, 0 0.0353. And the probability that x is greater than or equal to 8 was in fact 1 minus the probability x equals less than or equal to 7, which was 1 minus 0 0.95, which is 5% or 0 0.05.
add these two together I'll just go this way okay and you get 0.0853 so basically what is the actual significance level well as a percentage it is going to be 8.5 percent to one decimal place okay well that brings us to the end of this example and I hope you'll be able to model similar ones on this.